Good morning, everybody. It is day two in Buffalo, and uh, I'm tired. This is why I got the glasses on. But we are headed to our first location for video shooting today. I will, we should be pulling up in a second. But like I said, we're not gonna show you what we're doing, what we're eating on this video. You're gonna have to tune into one of our other videos to see that but you'll get a little bit behind the scenes sneak peek. Uh, the plan for today is to do this video. Then I think we're probably just gonna head closer towards the border, stop at some outlets, another Target stop because love Target, and then make our way home. So we will uh, take you guys along for that. And Steve and Eric are here too. Eric is, I don't know what Eric's filming. I'm filming the cop with his lights on. Oh yeah, we we're get- doing an episode of Cops now. We get excited. Oh, we're doing an episode of Cops? Uh, it just ended. Oh, okay. One of the most fascinating things that we find when we come to the States is the traffic light sitch. I know, they look so different and they look so weird. I don't understand why they do them this way, like just hanging on the cables, it seems. It's very yeah. confusing. We have them on poles. And All like, of ours are on poles. And how many are like... We have one light. There's got to be like 12 of them hanging here. It's so weird. Is there a specific reason why they're just on cables? I don't know. Maybe there's not, but it's just so different than we're used to. We like, have like two poles with lights on it. There would literally be two on either side of the road, like across from us and then yeah you know there'd be like four or five maybe it's because there's like so many other like, directions maybe because these intersections are so big i don't know but they're not really bigger than no maybe. no it's i don't know it's weird yeah but it's everywhere like they just seem so different the way they have them strung up like this it confuses us canadians differences you notice when you're from canada 100 percent, yeah one of the many strange things our friends south of the border do <laughs> still love you guys you guys we are at our location for our next video and y'all didn't tell us about this we wanted to come to sonic because it's sonic they like are on roller skates and stuff yeah it's like 50 style drive through yeah you pull up to a See? spot and someone like a, a staff member with roller skates comes in and takes your order now i know you guys are all like duh but we had no idea so this is super exciting and fun for us i'm excited yeah, okay now we gotta decide what to order we just tried our sonic and Oh, you're gonna have to wait for that video. It was really fun to do. And we have Eric with cleanup. Yep, putting the gear away. And uh, sorry guys, no sneak peek this time on what we tried because it, it, it's gone. If you want a sneak peek here, you can look at my shorts. Here you go, if you guys want a sneak peek. There you go, that's what's left from Sonic on my shorts. Yeah. Something fell. Yeah. It made a hell of a mess. It did, because Steve always drops stuff. It was a lot of fun. It kind of sucked though, because we parked in the perfect spot and we were going to be able to get a shot of, I think her name was Abigail. So shout out to Abigail, you're awesome. Yeah. Uh, get a shot of her delivering the food. But a big giant truck parked beside us and we couldn't do yeah, it. Yeah, so, Ford or pickup truck. That kind of sucked, but it was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, I mean, clearly the food was good, but you're going to have to wait and see and check out our video on what we actually tried. But now, guys, we are headed to more shopping because we need to burn off those calories. That's right. Military road, Walk. here we come. Uh, I don't know. Eric, shopping. send us out. We're at another Target. I see a sign on the horizon. I made them stop at the Target in Niagara Falls because I just got to make sure that I'm not missing out on any deals. Right there. Ship smoke out on the horizon. Okay, we'll see you in Target. This dollar section is pretty picked through. Look at the Target smell. It smells like Starbucks. Oh yeah. The problem is we just ate food and I don't want Starbucks. I know. That was my dream. Maybe coffee for the way home or something. Yeah. Aww. Well, Target was kind of a bust. Not, not the best. It's okay. It's because we go to the same ones all the time and they're kind of the smaller ones and they're a little bit junky. Maybe just go during like sale times to like Black Friday or something. Yeah, but I just wanted to go. I got a few little things, but nothing really worth talking about. But now we are, I don't know if you can see it. Fashion, fashion outlets. outlets. That's right, right there. Uh, we just wanted to come by. I just wanted to go to the Gap, be honest, because you guys have some really good sales at your Gap factory store. And then we're probably just going to go find some cheap-ish alcohol. 
supply our summertime vacation. I'm pretty sure there's something around here called the liquor barn I've been to previously that sounds like we need to check it out. And then we will sadly be going home. <coughs> oh, hey, hey. I'm leaving that in. So you've got some goods at the gap. That's got right. Super cheap jeans. 50% off the discounted price. So they were 30 bucks. So I got them for like $17, I think. Yeah. Hard to beat that deal. Eric is still in there buying some shorts. And we're just going to take a quick walk around and then we're probably going to go find some booze. Ah. Here comes Eric. Oh, he got a bag too. He hates when I film him coming out of stores. I said you hate when I'm filming you coming out of stores. I know, it's awkward. How much did you save? Uh, a lot. What? Nope. Okay. I paid in cash. So it was 34 bucks. Regular. 22 bucks off. And then I got a discount. Uh, what was the total price? <laughs> $10.39. For a pair of $35 shorts. Yep. Aren't they schnazzy? Orange. Plot twist. What? Plot twist. We decided What's the plot twist? to. So we have this really. The few times we've come to the states, we have this really weird thing where we happen to stop at the exact same Applebee's, and it's where we kind of go over our receipts. We have lunch. We tally things up. Get everything ready for the border. So we're like, let's go Applebee's. Let's do, Applebee's. let's do it. So we're going to Applebee's. Then we're gonna get booze. Then we're going home. Let's do it. All let's right, that order. Let's go. <laughs> Applebee's awaits. Hey. Steve is Googling where to go for booze and looks like we're headed there. Eric is Googling how much booze we can bring back without having to pay any kind of yeah. duty. And uh, we've already ordered. Updates, I know you guys are all dying to hear about the situation, but like we said, Eric checked and 24 hours you cannot. Well, you can bring booze back, but you gotta pay the duty and taxes. Or if you're lucky, they won't make you. But we kind of just don't want to risk it and have to wait an extra hour to get out of our car, go inside, pay duty. So no booze this night. Should we stay the second night? Next time we'll stay the second night. So. Well, because well. of everything, yeah. 800 bucks each. You can go crazy. Yeah. Actually, no, but we were gonna stop at Tim Hortons and we're like, we can't do that. That's weird. And this one has like, I can't see it, we're too far past, but it had like a big bison. Yeah, it had a buffalo with the Tim Hortons logo on it. All right, guys, we are four minutes away from the Canadian border. Do you think we're, oh, that was really weird. From the Canadian border. Do you think they're gonna let us back in? Maybe That's they don't awesome. want us. They might have been like, you know what? Stay. You Thanks guys. So in the US, maybe stuck with us. Sorry. Saw we. <laughs> no, no one wants us. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we're going to be coming up to the border in a few minutes. We will check back in once we are through and clear and let you guys know what the re entry to Canada part was like because you need the arrive can, you need vaccine passports. I don't know, but we're going to see how it is and we will let you guys know. But wish us luck and another cliffhanger. Will we make it back to Canada? while because we actually were in line when it was the three o'clock shift change so we had to wait for the shift change our guy was super super nice all he wanted was our passports he asked us our citizenship what we bought and how much we spent he didn't even ask us about alcohol or anything did he Ooh, no. no so super nice guy we're always super honest at the border because we don't want to push our luck and get a you know a black mark on our passports and whatever anyway so yeah, it was really easy. Didn't have to show arrive can, didn't have to show vaccine. It was actually more stressful going into the States than it was coming back. But that being said, we are 
now just driving home which is probably about an hour um so i think we might probably just close out the video here i guess guys yeah 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 we are back on homeland and now we just got a straight shot back to burlington and we're good that's right so steve and erica up front i'll close out the vlog for all these guys here do that again do that again I'll close out the vlog for these guys, but thank you so much for watching this video. It's a little bit different than our normal content, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it somewhat. We're new at the vlogging game. Comment below, let us know if you want to see more videos like this. That being said, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget, 